Hey, what's up, guys? Hopefully everything's cool. Um, obviously, hopefully you've gotten into a, somewhat of a routine, but I just want to show you guys quickly on how to access the um, assigned work on Google Classroom. So um, I'm just here on Google, right? Boom. And then usually I drop down the icons right here, or you could, you know, type it in the search bar, or sometimes people have it down here, but I just have it right here. Google Classroom. I just put mine towards the top because I use it all the time. So um, once that loads, then you'll have all your Google Classrooms that you guys have. Uh, I just usually, I'll just go right here to Physical Science 1. You guys should only have like one science class. So then once it loads up, the best place to go, right, is Classwork right here. The stream is showing everything I'm posting. So as I'm updating or changing anything, it's always going to show up there so things can get buried classwork it'll be right on top so just go ahead and click click classwork again and then you'll see the physical science extended break enrichment i don't know whatever i label it, some long name but anyway um so here's the remind app for physical science and maybe i'll make another video just shortly about that and but anyway it's right there uh, i posted that last night now we'll just deal with the very first one right and actually let me move it up okay cool so there it is so the table of contents is right here so you can click that and then once you um, open it up then you can click on the table of contents itself and then this kind of gives you a layout of everything so these instructions for each module or each chapter are listed right in the chapter but the instructions are also right here again and it's overall so then this these are different due dates for each chapter and then what you're actually supposed to do inside of each one so we'll go and take a look at chapter eight since that's the first one that is due so i'll go ahead and close that up and then we'll open up chapter eight and as you see, these instructions are duplicated again right here. So it's telling you to complete on a separate sheet of paper or in your scientific journal. Then take um, a picture of that and you should, the best way to do it, and maybe I'll change the instructions just a little bit, is to attach that picture to a Google document. Then once you've gone on the Google document, it seems like it's been way easier for people to do that. Then you can attach that Google document to this assignment and then you can turn it in. And again, the same instructions are listed right here. Pages 89 through 100, that's the whole chapter. This is when it's due. And then this is what to read and then do the lesson review. Read these pages right here, then do the lesson review. And it kind of works like that. Now, this is not telling you you have to do anything with the big idea besides just read it. And it's one page. Um, also completing the linking um, vocabulary. And the main idea, that's something you actually need to complete and do. Now, as we scroll down just right here, you'll see everything's listed right here. This right here, this PDF, this is the whole chapter. So I'll open that up and that's going to show you the whole chapter, right? So this is the whole chapter, Chemical Reactors, Chapter 8, right? So then you can just scroll down, read through it, however you guys want to actually do that one. Then we'll just go back. I usually open it in a separate tab. But then if you look right here, each lesson review is labeled and then it's telling you exactly what you need to do, right? And then I'll just go over and you can see the next lesson review number two. There it is again, what you need to do. Um, and there it is, lesson again, number, number three, lesson review number three. So you read the pages, then you actually go and... Um, then you go and actually right there and, and do it. Now, if you want to do this on a Google Doc, which is fine, you're just going to have to recreate all of these things here. So whichever you find easier. I'll get to your emails. Don't worry. Okay. Then right here, I included this video because this video kind of ties in and helps, you know, just an overview of what this chapter is going to be about. Now, this chapter is stuff that mostly that we covered mainly in class. So there's a few things that we didn't, but um, again, you'll be able to read it and check it out. If you have questions, please let me know. But that's kind of how to access all the different ones. And again, all the different modules are just right here. So as they're each are due, and it's kind of the same thing for each one. No problem. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, remember to try and do them in order. The dates are just to kind of help to keep you on schedule and on a regular pace. All right. Um, see you guys soon. Hopefully. Oh, I'm supposed to be like this, right? Ha ha. Live long and prosper.